Okay, so this is my new toy. It is a high frequency Tesla coil, basically. It has a, a 813 pentode, which is basically, I think, a low power version of the GU81M. Uh, I have a, some, a copper wire coil. Uh, I got a small roll of copper wire for about $5, and it's pretty pricey because there wasn't very much wire on there, but... Uh, so it goes. Uh, so I have that, and I have a plate cap, and then some rinse wire going over there, and then some going over there, and then a single strand for the plate, I mean for the grid. Now, the grid, the grid hookup is kind of weird. I have the bottom of the coil going through those capacitors directly to the grid, and then from the grid to ground I have these three power resistors. And they do get hot. I mean, these are 50k, uh, 250 watt resistors in parallel for about 15k, and they get they get pretty hot. I mean, kind of weird considering how much power must be going through those capacitors to make them get hot. Uh, then I have my power transformer and the choke. Uh, and I'm using a relatively small value capacitor for that, uh, for the voltage doubler. It's only about 0.5 microfarad from a really small microwave. And uh, I've got some tubes right there that light up, so I'm going to hook this up and run it. Okay, so I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up or not, because last time I recorded it, I don't think it... I think it stopped recording, but let's try it. You slowly ramp up the variac. Let's see if we Okay, now I'm going to turn off the lights and see what it looks like. Okay, lights are off. See the tube glowing brightly. But not red plating though.
Okay, that's pretty much it. I will post a link to another video in the description with the schematic. Thanks for watching.